Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast. We discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. We are glad to welcome you in the new Eugene podcast episode. Today I'll show you how to use scripts for defining the workflow processes parameters values. Eugene Workflow Designer allows you to create and run complex computational workflows. The scripting mechanism is aimed to provide additional flexibility for defining the workers or processes behavior and the workers parameters values. Let's load a simple sample scheme, the conversion of sequences into GeneBank format sequences. It consists of two workers and the data flow between them. The sequence reader object reads sequences from input files specified with the input file parameter. I will specify it with these two files of PDB and Clostal formats and select the one iteration mode to process each file identically. Now I will specify the output files names of the right GeneBank worker. But first, let's set the scripting mode toolbar item value to show scripting options. It will allow us to use scripts to define certain workers' parameters. Now the right GeneBank worker parameters table is extended with a third column, scripts. We can see that scripting is available for output file and existing file parameters. I click on the pull-down and select user script item. This brings out the scripting editor dialog. The variables that are declared in the upper text area represent input and output data. For the output file parameter, we have the input file location URL, the annotations table, if any, and the sequence. The output file location is defined with the URL out variable value. Without using a script, the output files locations are based on the entered path. But with a script, one can define the output file locations using the input file location as basis. For instance, let's open this script. It declares an auxiliary variable file name containing the input file location represented by a string object. The next line will cut the part from the sequence that starts with a dot, which will be the file extension if the file path and name contain no dots. Third line will add the underline copied word to the end of the remained string. And the last line will add the new extension to the string and assign this new value to the output file location variable. Let's see the script working. I press down and then I press run schema. The conversion of two sequences from the PDB and the Clostal files to GeneBank files is finished. As we can see, the whole file path and name of the input file were retained and the extension were changed. The same is true for the PDB files as well. That's how you can use scripting mechanism to define workers' parameters values in Eugene Workflow Designer. Thank you for watching.